Each spring, the station masters on Thomas's branch line hold a best dress station competition. The platforms and waiting rooms are adorned with vibrant flowers and decorations. The fat controller and lady hat travel down the line, judging the stations and awarding a prize to the winner. One morning, Elizabeth rolled into Farquhar. Her tipper was full of flowers to be placed around the station. Daisy was purring proudly nearby. I have the honour of escorting Sir Topham and Lady Hat to the stations tomorrow. Naturally, it should fall to an engine with an eye for decorative flair. Wouldn't you say so, my dear? Quite. And if these flowers are in any indication, it'll be a splendid competition. Who do you reckon will win? What does it matter? Diesel slithered into the yard with trucks from the park. It's a waste. Those flowers will be withered within the week anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to understand. Staring at stone in a quarry all day would make any engine blind to real beauty. I'm doing real work. I don't have time to fawn over myself like some engines. <laughs> Diesel squirmed away, leaving Daisy fuming. Ignore him! I'd say he's jealous. What a station master sending him for flowers? That'll make you feel better. Daisy didn't feel any better. The next morning, she felt worse. Something's happened with your engine. <sighs> Goodness knows what. It's all right, dear. Nothing you could do to help. Just then, the fat controller and Lady had arrived. Gentler on the brakes next time, Tobum! Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, dear. When they saw Daisy, Lady Hat was annoyed. What is the meaning of this? It would appear our Daisy has, uh, wilted, my dear. Neither Daisy nor Lady Hat found much humor in the comment. The fat controller went pale. I've been looking forward to this all winter! How are we meant to get to the stations now? There's always Elizabeth. <laughs> I'd sooner walk than take that old thing! Elizabeth spluttered. Just then, Diesel arrived with more trucks. <laughs> a lorry and a rail car! All dressed up and nowhere to go! <laughs> Very well. That engine will have to do. Everyone was speechless. Now just a moment, we're needed back up at the quarry. Well, I see a perfectly good lorry built for quarry work right here. Isn't that right, Topper? Uh, yes, dear. Quite right. Very good idea. Uh, off you go, Elizabeth. Yes, chop chop! Elizabeth was furious. She roared away without another word. But he knows nothing of beauty or flower arrangements. The only thing he needs to know is how to get from station to station. Very good. Let the judging begin. Lady Hat surveyed the platform at Farquhar. The flowers were vibrant and full of life. Simply marvelous. A wonderful display of color. What an eyesore. All those colors, it's disorienting! The fat controller spun on his heel and glared at Diesel. But the most surprising thing happened. Oh, oh yes. You raise an excellent point. It really is too much. No seeming at all. She scribbled in her notebook. The poor station master was at a loss of words. Very well. Next station, please, Diesel. Come along, Topham. Come in, dear. Next, they arrived at Hackenbeck. The station master was young and didn't have much of a green thumb. Oh, gracious! These flowers look positively parched. Horrendous! I think it's marvelous! Dull and dreary, exactly how they'll end up anyway! Hmm. 
I suppose you have a point. It is rather naturalistic and admittedly fresh entry to the competition. All day they traveled up the line. Diesel had no shortage of input. Surprisingly, Lady Hat was entirely receptive. The fat controller didn't know what to think. At the end of the day, the station masters gathered at Farquhar. Another splendid competition. After very serious deliberation, it gives me great pleasure to announce this year's winner is Mr. Reddings of Hackenbeck. There was stunned applause as a bewildered Mr. Reddings accepted the trophy. And I'd like to give special thanks to Diesel, whose input was most helpful in deciding the victor. The other station masters shot angry looks at Diesel. Unbelievable! So many beautiful displays, utterly ignored. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Perhaps we'll be swapping roles, Daisy. Be careful! I'd hate for you to go blind to beauty from staring at stone all day. <laughs> and with that, Daisy went red in the face as Diesel slunk back to the car. Oh, I swear, Diesel. <laughs> <laughs>